Okay, so today I was thinking of showing everyone how to make a pretty basic island shape in World Machine. Um, I'm thinking of making some more tutorials, uh, maybe some more World Machine ones, and I've still got some glitch art tutorials that I can try and get recorded. So I start off with an actual island type shape, round island shape, which is just, you know, this. It looks more like a very round mountain. Um, but it's very tall, it's like Mount Everest tall, that's the highest you can get in World Machine I think, so that's not good. We want to make it uh, a lot smaller, so what I do is I go to Generator and I get a constant height. Uh, constant height is just flat height that you can get any height you want, but we choose the lowest one. So when we blend these together, we combine them, and you get a much smaller round hill. So that looks alright, but it doesn't look like an island. We want to add some actual landscape now. So we go to Advanced Perlin, uh, and we choose this island thing as a mask. So if we look at that now, it looks a lot more natural, but it's still pretty much a round hill, and that looks kind of silly, unless you want that. Um, so let's just bump it up a bit, and take another look, and yeah, that looks a lot better. Next thing we want to do is go to Filter, add some terraces. What terraces are is they're kind of just flat mesa things. Um, problem is that I mean, that looked kind of silly, so let's just add some more terraces, and let's not make them as sharp. Let's take another look. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, I think. But the problem is that if we get it on nine degrees that's like you know you wouldn't find that naturally that's more of like uh, you'd something you'd see in a big mine those flat terraces like that so that's not what we want um, we kind of what we want to do is just change the heights of them so we'll go to advanced Perlin bump it up a bit that looks alright and let's use that as terrace modulation, take another look. And yeah, that looks a bit more natural. It's still got the terraces, but they're not um, you know, they're not completely the same height. So next thing we want to do is also go to natural and add some erosion. Um, this is probably the most important thing. Um, in pretty much the landscape stuff, so we'll just add that. I like to go enable geological time enhancement and just look at the top left and see what I think looks quite good. This is far too much. Uh, maybe I want something like, yeah, actually, that looks. Yeah, that, uh, that looks right. Let's take another look. And yeah, you can see that it looks um, a lot more natural, um, but it's not perfect because these aren't really beaches. These, you know, they're not. That's not how a beach would look. So next, we want to add some coast erosion, it's still natural, and just add that, add those together. And if we take another look, you know, now we've got the beaches, but I do think they look quite silly without doing anything. So let's just show the water level and take another look. I feel like that's kind of lame looking. So, I mean, I don't know if there's better ways to do this. Um, I haven't seen to be able to get quite a, like a, an amazing way by using just the coast erosion um, you know, settings. So I don't know if there's a better way. This is what I've been doing. If there's a better way, I'd like to know. Um, what I do is I 
add the height field of what we've got to an inverter and then I want to add bias and gain and we'll use them as a yeah mask so, whoop. yeah add them as a mask and then let's just lock the preview let's go over here go over here to go to bias and gain and just set them to nothing so that's what nothing looks like this is what full looks like um, Let's just kind of play with these settings till we got something that we, uh, I think looks good. So that's too much. This. Mm, this may be just enough. So let's just take a look at that. Yeah, I think that looks a, I think that looks a lot better, in my opinion. Um, let's take that water off. So that's pretty much, you know, the kind of island uh, height map, uh, you know, the shape of it. Um, other things you can do is maybe add, um, maybe add some textures. So what I do is, well, I think a lot of people do this, but you go, know, go to macros. I think you might actually have to download this. I can't remember. So take this and load it up um, it'll be pretty easy to find pretty easy to download I reckon uh, we want an output we use the overlay view combine these like so uh, now the problem is we can't actually see anything for some reason and the reason is is because the overlay starts off with quite high water height water level, let's just get rid of the water entirely um, next is that it's just completely sand island so we want to take that beach height down to something more something like um, maybe something like that I think and the cliffs are usually spot on so now let's take a look at it whoa yeah, I think that looks quite good. Um, maybe I should have added maybe a bit more grass. Uh, show that water level. Yeah, so that's pretty much the island. Um, but I can show. Maybe I'll try. Uh, I'll just show it in maybe some more detail. Let's put put this up a bit. Take another look. Usually erosion takes the longest to load, and coastal overlay is quite big as well. But let's take a look now. Yeah, I think that looks quite good, in my opinion. Maybe I'd want it. Maybe I'd want that mountain a bit taller. But I think yeah, it's pretty good. Um, just basic way to make an island. Um, that's how I do it at least. Uh, yeah. Um, hope this helped. Thanks for watching.